Hi friends, it's Miss Linda, and today we are going to work on our butterfly worksheet. So it will look like this. There's some pictures on the bottom, and there's numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 on the top. So if you have not read The Hungry Caterpillar with Miss Zamora, please pause this video, go back and read The Very Hungry Caterpillar with Miss Zamora, and when you're done reading with her, come back to this video and work on this activity. So after reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar with Ms. Zamora, we learned a little bit about a life cycle of a butterfly. So The Very Hungry Caterpillar did not start off as a butterfly. What did it start off as before it became a caterpillar and a butterfly? We are going to figure that out today. And so the pictures below, we are going to put them in order. We are going to put what comes first, second, third, and fourth and so today you will need a scissor some glue um, like a glue stick or the white elmer's glue is fine and if you want to color the pictures you can get something to color with so like markers crayons color pencils anything you can use to color the pictures with all right so i have my glue stick i'm going to use glue stick today and my scissor and so the first thing i am going to do is i will cut out the pictures first All right, I'm almost done here. So just keep going until you're done cutting them out. And now I'm all done. And so what you are going to do with me is lay them out like this so you can see them. So in the book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar, was the caterpillar a butterfly first? Or was it a caterpillar first? How did it start off as? It started off as eggs. So we are going to get our picture with the leaf and the eggs on it and put it on number one because this is what happened first the life cycle of the butterfly begins as little eggs and then from the eggs what does it hatch into does it hatch into a butterfly does it hatch into a cocoon does it hatch into a caterpillar what do you think if you guess caterpillar you're correct so the eggs hatched into a caterpillar and that's what happened second. So the first thing is an egg. The second thing is a caterpillar. And now, what does the caterpillar do? What happened in the book? What did the caterpillar make for itself? Did it turn into a butterfly or did it go into its cocoon? If you said cocoon, you're correct. Kiss your brain, you're so smart. The butterfly made a cocoon for itself. And so it stayed in the cocoon until it was ready to become a butterfly. So the third thing that happened was it made its cocoon. So put some glue on the cocoon and put it on the number three. All right, and the last and final stage of a butterfly is it comes out of the cocoon and it's a beautiful butterfly. So let's put some glue on this butterfly and glue it onto number four because that is the fourth step. All right, boys and girls, we did it. We figured out what comes first second, third, and fourth in the life cycle of a butterfly. So first was the eggs, second comes the caterpillar, third it goes into a cocoon, and fourth it turns into a beautiful butterfly. And so what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to go ahead and share with me on Learning Genie what happens first, second, third, and fourth. And I hope you guys have an awesome spring break. I will see you guys when we come back on April 12th, okay? Bye!